to introduce my idea and I'm looking for co-founders or some investors. But it's a real, it's just an idea at the moment. So I'm going to introduce your face or fingerprint face identification card. Uh, how to identify yourself globally. Uh, I have over 10 years experience as an entrepreneur. Uh, in January this year I launched myautos.de. This is for student market. And as you can see, team member two and three are open. So, uh, first question Has anybody lost documents or wallet uh, when traveling? When you're traveling, do you have a, a copy of your passport or ID card that you can access? But usually, you need one. Uh, so, my idea, idea is how. To find solution, how to identify yourself uh, using uh, internet <laughs> when you don't have any documents, really. So also this will be as a placeholder for copies of official documents like passport, ID card, driving license, which you can access wherever you are and where is internet connection. So. Uh, we are giving the traveler a security to find quick way to identify, get food and accommodation, or return at home from same country, state without documents and money. So traveler's worst nightmare, losing uh, your passport or wallet, theft of identification cards or documents. So we are giving the uh, possibility to identify you quickly. So how to do it? You need to show your documents to somebody. So you will, you have, for example, you have your phone, smartphone. So you need to show your document for service provider, customer support, police, uh, travel agent. So they ask them to go to website fbicard.com and ask them to say you a four-letter code on front page. Uh, they will tell you the code, and uh, of course they can ask uh, your identity through email. So if you will uh, put your FBI card number and reason why and uh, their name, why they are asking uh, your documents. So uh, if you are logged in, you can accept or decline. Uh, but the easiest way is to just use your smart, uh, smartphone and put in service a four-digit uh, code and uh, click on ID card and uh, this person who has uh, on, is on your web page, fbicard.com, will see your ID card or copy of your passport. And of course, uh, uh, how to verify or confirm those copies is it's a technical question. Or it can be also a placeholder for your fingerprints. Uh, the first step, of course, will be just using social networks uh, to identify your picture, like uh, Facebook, uh, G+, LinkedIn, so that you will ask some friends to identify. Yes. It will be a great tool uh, for customer support. For example, you will have uh, a video uh, conversations through Skype, for example, and customer support asks your document. Uh, you ask them to go to fbicard.com and uh, say you the code. They will say, for example, cake. And uh, you will type it into your smartphone and uh, they will see it. So identify yourself, get money and ID and security. Uh, domain is easier to remember. Uh, pro customers, product is suitable for everyone. Using internet is expensive and lots of potential, so easy to do, and so on. And uh, of course, business model, model, how to make some money, there are lots of uh, uh, options, because everybody is interested about the solid network, so it's the power of God who is uh, forming a worldwide network. Every service product provider will be interested in accessing uh, that network that has the most accurate information. So first, so it will be the easiest way for travel to identify yourself worldwide without documents and get access to money with low cost. So the product roadmap in the beginning, uh, there will be a virtual identification card confirmed by 10 friends and a secure placeholder for ID documents, passport, 
driving license and so on. Uh, and if they are confirmed by company, change small fee assets and so on. Okay. Thank you very much. Good. Let's make an applause. Uh, do you have the authorization to use FBI in your name? Um, actually, last time there was uh, Star Smart Demons, and I asked uh, from this uh, lawyer from Silicon Valley and if there will be a program, um, then uh, they must call to him. <laughs> okay, he has a lawyer already. <laughs> Good. Hi, thank you for a great pitch. I think this is an uh, uh, like idea that has definitely big need. I'm wondering if the authentication is so strong that can you use it for such strong situations where you need to replace identification? Uh, have you considered using it in a software version, for example, to verify your online account or identity on eBay or something like that? So the question is, can you actually travel cross-border with this kind of card? And uh, have you considered uh, the lighter version of it? Actually, actually, I read one article when somebody came from Canada, the USA, and so his passport in ePad. So, and you, if you have interconnection, you can uh, access your copy of your passport or ID card wherever you are. But of course, it's not uh, for uh, crossing those borders. It's more identifying giving for the hotel, for example, say I always asking a travel agent, a foreign country police can ask you to identify yourself. So so on so on. So. And of course it will be a great tool for customer support as video call conversation, customer support will see your face and at the same time you can show your document with quite easily. Uh, I could give some feedback. First of all, uh, there are lots of competi competi competitors <laughs> in this market. First of all, if you are in foreign country and you get lost of your documents, uh, there's a money grab service, so you can request money from someone you know. And secondly, I understand your uh, service includes or requires somehow uh, using your uh, smartphone. In case you already have a smartphone, then there is a mobile ID uh, which you can use for giving signature at least in Estonian uh, terms of service. And uh, last but not least, using face as a security device is quite extremely not secure in my opinion because of first more plastic surgery. So why not use uh, retina? from the beginning. And uh, as I remember already, our current Estonian passports are using biometric data uh, in the case of in terms of fingerprints. So uh, why your service is better than those uh, list I mentioned? Thank you. Uh, yes, it was a very good list. Of course, face is in your uh, passport and you are using your passport. So it's anyway. In. <laughs> but it will be just and uh, this example, this uh, smartphone, it was only one uh, possibility. You need just interconnection. You can log in or, or give your, insert your password, for example, and to sh that you can see those documents you have uploaded there. Okay, um, listen, um, if you have still feedback and questions uh, to Andreas, then he will be around because we, after the pitching sessions, we continue networking, yeah? And uh, you can actually tell him, hey, I think if you change a bit this, it might work out. But the question for me, as, as I know most of the ideas um, will change during the development, so question for me would be, how many of you actually need a service to identify yourself uh, without showing a physical uh, passport or ID card or something like that. Okay, it's quite half. So, so this is a market potential. I, I made a market research for you. <laughs> so this is a market potential and, um, and I suggest you to go on from there. Thank you, Andreas. Applause to Andreas.